Thanks for joining us. We're here in the Wind Technology Studio, and we want to thank our media sponsor, Royal Credit Union. We have with us today Michelle Skinner. Michelle is the Republican candidate for the 91st Assembly District. Uh, thanks for being with us. You are very welcome, and thank you for having me. So before we talk about you being a candidate, we want to know a little bit more about you. So what do you think people should know about Michelle? Well, for people who are watching who are maybe a little older than younger, they may remember me in days of old because I used to sit in your chair and ask the questions of people. I'm the lady who came into your living room for 10 years during the evening and gave folks the news of the day. I was uh, the main anchor at TV 13 from in the 80s through the early 90s. So I grew up on TV here in Eau Claire, my first job out of college. So people may remember the Magadance name. Uh, my, and I grew up in Eau Claire. This is my hometown. Mm -hmm. Magadance also, my dad was an in insurance. So if you hear the name Magadance, and it's usually, you know, it's an unusual name, they're related. Now I've since married, so now I'm a Skinner, so it's Magadance Skinner. So what should people know about me? Well, I was the lady on TV. Um, this is my hometown. I love it, and I care a lot about it, and I want to keep it a good place to live. And I uh, have gotten involved in the community, uh, and I want to, and I've been asked to do things, and so I'm stepping up to the plate, and it, for me, this is giving back to the community. The community gave me a lot when I was on air, and it I, I grew up and I felt uh, engaged and people looked to me, trusted me. You got to have credibility when you're on the air. And I am returning some of the favor that they gave me, helping me grow up in this area and become a professional. Well, let's move on to that. You started to talk about why you're doing what you're doing now. So why are you running for the legislature? Because I was asked to. <laughs> Pure and simple, it was not in my game plan. Um, I'm already, like I said, I'm involved in the community. I live on Lake Altoona. Lake Altoona is in trouble. Nobody was doing anything about it, so I got on the lake board and I became chair. Now, we're doing lots and lots of things to get things going, growing the momentum, getting people aware of what's going on, the problems, and getting money and technology and science to help solve some of the problems. And as, as a result, I got noticed by others in the community who said, Michelle, you ought to run for Eau Claire County board. Hadn't thought about that either. Like, oh boy, here we go. Um, but, you know, it, it brings the issues to a higher level of government. Once again, it's, it's a great advantage for the community who not only use the lake, but who live around the lake. Okay, I'll do it. So I ran and I'm on the Eau Claire County Board. And then I got noticed again. I said, Michelle, you're doing such a great job. You really ought to run for the 91st Assembly seat. And I said, can I even do that? I wasn't even sure. Can you hold two positions at once? Yes, there are many people in the state legislature who do, whether they serve on a town board. Some of them are mayors in their own city. Um, so after some contemplation and thinking about it, because it's, it's a big commitment, and can I do all this? Can I juggle it? I can. I will. And I'll do a great job. All right. Well, let's talk about if you end up doing the job. So if the voters send you to Madison, what are some of the issues come January you would spend your time on? Uh, one of the top issues that I hear all the time about as I'm knocking doors and meeting people, one is our local health crisis, if you will. The fact that we lost two hospitals and we need to solve that. Um, and I know the state legis legislature has started addressing it. It hasn't been solved and the free market may help with that when there's a need, usually somebody comes in and offers a service. So we need to address that right away. That's health care. Number two, I've been talking to people about homelessness. We've had it during uh, our meetings with eggs and issues, and we've had a joint uh, meeting between the Eau Claire City Council and the county board. I talked to uh, Eau Claire police chief. He's a young guy, but when he first joined the force, he said there were two or three homeless people, and you knew them. Now they're, we're dealing with two to three hundred. And that's a totally different ball game. And you talk to people and go, this isn't the town I grew up in. We need to figure out what, what we can do. And whether it's on the local level and on the state level and federal, I mean, it's going to take, it's going to take all of us working together. So that's another big issue that's out at the forefront. And the other thing that everybody talks about is prices. My goodness, you go to the, the grocery store and I saw a woman pushing a cart and she had two large jars of mayonnaise. And I went, 
I wonder which bank she's going to go to to take a loan out on it, to, you know, to buy the mayonnaise. Um, the, the prices have just gone so far up. So we need to be fiscally responsible. And, you know, nobody has really talked about, you know, balanced budget. And I, I think we really need to be wise in how we spend our money rather than throwing money. Let's be wise, keep it in our pocket, and let's not drive ourselves over the cliff with inflation and other kinds of monetary problems. So those three, right off the bat. Immigration is out there, and when I talk to people, they say they don't believe it's really hit here yet. I mean, it may have, you know, they say every town now is a border town, and we're pretty far north. And even though we may not see it right now, um, it may not be visible. It'll be here. It'll be an issue that we that we need to address. So federal level mostly, but I'm sure the state will play some type of role also in that. So those are some of the top issues. So we're talking about numbers a little bit there. So uh, one of the things we like to ask candidates is thinking about our local and regional economy. What is the role of state government in making sure that's strong? We need to provide an environment where a small business is going to grow. And that means keeping tax rates down and, and allowing businesses free enterprise. My son owns a small business here in Eau Claire. So I know firsthand what he is dealing with. So he's my go-to in terms of getting information in, in real time. And we also need to um, keep in mind that this is a large agricultural state, obviously, and they, that is a, a large part of our economy, too. We need to work with them. I'm on the lake, so I consider myself kind of an environmental cop, but it's important for them to make money. They, they put food on our table, so we all have to work together. So let's keep Wisconsin a great environment to do business. That's in a general sense. I'm learning a lot. I don't know everything, Scott, but once I get there, I'll absorb things. I'm going to go, that's a good idea. We should do this. Maybe I talked to my son and he told me this. So I'm, I'm, I'm absorbing and learning as, as I go along the way. All right. Well, thanks for joining us today. And uh, we want to encourage you as a voter to study up on the issues, look at the candidates, and be sure to exercise your right to vote on November 5th.